Hello, and welcome to the Tactical Project. I'm your host, as always, Tactical, working every day to bring you the best Guns Gear Knife channel available on YouTube. And in today's video, we're just going to go ahead and take a look at my Get Home bag. Um, this is the bag that I go ahead and keep in all my vehicles in case something happens and um, I have to leave my vehicle and hoof it on home. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, just dive right into this. First things first, we'll get into the bag. Um, as you can see, it's nothing really special. It's called a Ozark Trail. Um, I don't know. I'm pretty sure I got this at Walmart. Um, my sophomore year in college. So that would have been almost 10 years ago. And it's still holding up really good. Um, that's something that I wanted to discuss in this video too. Is You don't have to have you know, a Kelty or a 511 or some super expensive bag. You don't, you don't need that. All, all those kind of bags do, especially ones with like a bunch of molly webbing all over them, um, all those do is draw attention to yourself. And if something happened where I had to ditch my vehicle and come home, I want as little attention to me as possible. Now I know that this has orange across the back of it, but it looks like a normal backpack. It, there's nothing that would make you think that there's anything in here other than like a couple books or, so, you know, nothing, nothing super special. It doesn't really look tactical. Um... So that's it. It's got a pretty decent canvas on it. It's nothing special. Like like I say, any backpack will do for a get home bag, as long as it's big enough to fit the equipment you want in it, um, and you know carries nice. And that's something too is make sure to you know go on a couple a couple walks with your get home bag. You know you don't want it to just sit in your truck or your car and never think about it or have walked around with it. You know go on a few couple mile walks like. You know, it doesn't even have to be very far, like three or five miles. That way, you know, you get a feel for it. You know, you know if you need to adjust where something is in your pack. Uh, that's normally long enough to figure out if the straps are really digging into you bad or not. So it's just a good idea to, you know, walk around with your equipment. You don't have to do it every day. Just a few, you know, two, three times. All right. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, up here at the top, I have a little bit of cordage, uh, 550 paracord. It's not very much. Um, it's partly from a, uh, a survival bracelet that I made and I had some extra left over. So let's go ahead and take a look at uh, what's in the top here. <clears throat> I have a pair of um, mechanics gloves, which are uh, really nice. I like them a lot. Maybe I'll do a review on them uh, soon. Um, I have a survival rescue blanket. set of hand warmers, a um, little bit of uh, Gorilla Tape on a uh, old uh, gift card. I have just your standard Bic lighter, nothing special there. I have a Pilot G2 pen, small notepad. It, you know, you'll see everybody you need a Fisher pen and a write in the rain pad. I don't know what kind of money these people have, but it's not me. Um, I try to get decent equipment, but equipment that doesn't break the bank. And then, um, unlike this little necktie I made, I have a compass, a whistle, a fire steel. Um, this is pretty old. This is from whenever I was in Boy Scouts. And a um, match safe with some Strike Anywhere matches in it. And that's on a length of 550 paracord. And I also have this old um, signaling mirror. So there's that. Um, sorry about the focus, guys. This is a different camera that I've been using. Um, try to get that situation straightened out. Alright, so we open up the main compartment. Uh, well, wait a minute. Hold on, let's see here. On the side compartment, I have um, three bags of emergency water. Um, nothing special there. I was able to get a kit at, at Walmart of all places that had this and some uh, rations in it. And the rations themselves were worth 10 bucks, And I got it for $10 at Walmart. And it came with a... Uh, 
Molly uh, butt pack and stuff. So it was a pretty good deal. So I got this water in the outside, and then that's everything that's on the outside. So let's get on the inside. I have some uh, emergency food rations. This is enough for 72 hours. Um, I also have this little button compass here that we talked about on the outside. Um, so that, you know, I can get a general direction of where I'm going on my way home. I also have a uh, tomahawk. Um, I've had this one since I was probably eight, maybe. Uh, it's a really nice tomahawk. I like it a lot. And I, in survival situations, um, I like a tomahawk better than a um, knife just because it's easier to break uh, windows and get into places. And they give you a little bit more... Uh, range you know for uh, self-defense you know that's pretty decent range there if you uh, know how to use them if you have no idea how to use one um you know go ahead and stick to what you know a knife but uh basically anything you can do with a knife you can do with a tomahawk it's just personal preference and i am going to be getting a knife for this kit um but right now i uh, don't have one so that's what i roll with so pretty soon i'll have a knife and a tomahawk and that's something too is all kits are in flux you know like they're always changing if I can find something better or find out something better that's what I'm gonna go with you know I'm not so prideful to where you know I'm gonna wake up one day and say my kits perfect it never needs anything else um, no the, the, there's no such thing and the minute that you start thinking something like that is the the minute that you fall behind everybody else um, and you know you're gonna be in a bad way so also I have a uh, medical kit I'm uh, not going to get into too much of that. Maybe I'll do another video on what's in the medical kit. Uh, Ripstop Nylon Poncho. Uh, works for shelter, sleeping bags, uh, actual poncho. My um, poncho liner, which acts well as a blanket. Uh, helps make the poncho and do a uh, blanket. And that, oh, and a uh, hank of paracord. There's probably about 30 feet there. Um, so that's everything that's in this bag. You know, there's a few other things I want to get. I want to get a couple cliff bars and some stuff that's maybe a little more flavorful than those, uh, rations. Um, uh, I want to get a steel cup and, uh, a, uh, like a light my fire titanium fork and spoon combination. Uh, maybe a couple packs of ramen noodles so I can, you know, have something if I have to stop and, uh, also some uh you know maybe like a small camp stove and some beef jerky you know just just a few more things and also um i have a bottle ordered for this kit too um that's gonna go right here in the bottle pocket um it's gonna be a clean canteen so that's that's what this kit's gonna be made out of and uh it's a perfect no but it's uh got the stuff in it that i could afford and it's pretty decent all around you know, uh, most things are covered two or three times so that uh, I'll at least have something that works. And when you combine this with um, what I carry on my person for my EDC, it actually ends up being pretty good. So um, that's all I have for you guys today. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so that you can be one of the first to view my videos as they become available. Until next time, tack out.